on the original release site. This is the, the old Starfire mine. This is also the spot where we did the helicopter capture this winter, where we captured uh, adult cows and put implants in them to come back later in a couple of months and try to catch calves and, and be part of that monitoring study for uh, adult cow survival and, and calf survival. We're going to be doing prescribed burns today up here, try to improve some habitat, try to get rid of some autumn olive, get rid of some of the unwanted plants that we have and promote growth of native vegetation and some cool season grasses that will provide better forage for elk up here. So we're using a drip torch today to ignite the fuels on the ground and that consists of a canister which holds the mixed fuel which is a combination between diesel fuel and gasoline. There's a venting mechanism that's on the canister. This controls the flow rate of the fuel that's inside so that we can control how much fuel is being put on the ground. In order to ignite the drip torch, you saturate the wick, pour a little fuel on the ground and you can ignite that fuel which in turn will ignite the wick and you're ready to put fire on the ground. So this is uh, one unit of four that we're gonna get to today. This is our largest unit of 200 acres. And what we're actually doing here right now is we're getting a lot of black. We're kind of on a downwind side of things. So we'll make sure we're gonna get a lot of black before we send uh, our head fire uh, up to this side of the unit. And basically what that's gonna do is set back plant succession. We're trying to, we got a lot of non-native species in here like Theresa, Lespedeza, Autumn Olive. And we wanna make sure that we keep our open areas open. In East Kentucky, we have a lot of areas that are predominantly wooded timber and a lot of wildlife benefit from these open areas. Fire is a necessity to do that. Each of our rigs have a drip torch, fuel for the drip torch. We've got two hand tools. Usually we've got a swatter and a fire rake. Each of the rigs we have 25 to 50 gallons of water on. What we got going on here, as you can imagine, on our reclaim areas, there can be gas wells or gas lines that uh, pop up out of the ground. So what we're doing right now, as you can see, we're blacking out to protect a gas line that pops up just in front of me here. What we're doing is we're blacking out all the way to a hard break on this side and then this side we're also going to a road that is a hard break just down below us. So we want this gas line to be protected at all costs. As you can see behind me, so, you know, what we're trying to do is knock the autumn olive back. You know, we've had a lot of autumn olive starting to come in. It is an invasive species and the seed source is hard to get rid of. So two of the things we're trying to do this spring is have a prescribed fire in order to kill what's above ground on the autumn olive. And then they may end up having to come back later as it starts to re-sprout and do something chemically or mechanically. This is our last unit for today. What you saw John doing, praying along the line, we're just laying a wet line just to kind of help us make sure we keep the fire where it's supposed to be. We've been really happy with what we've accomplished so far today and we're uh, excited to see um, how the elk respond to habitat management we've done here and promote some better forage for our animals. All right, so what we're doing right now, doing a mop up and what that consists of is crew members going around, running the whole unit to make sure that all fire is out. Fire is good for all wildlife, and I hope that this is able to continue throughout the southeast.